Welcome to Encoded Frequency. This is the space where we, including me, learn, connect, and grow together. And during this transmission, you can request healing, you can ask questions. I'll wait a few minutes to check if I can read your questions and then go with the flow. At the end, we will have a light language transmission from Atlanteans. And I do have a team. I receive questions from you guys. And I, my best, I try to answer them. And in occasions, through the persons who request the charts, thank you for being here. Please let me know if the sound is good. And if you have a question, the better it is, the more specific the question it is, the better or the more accurate the answer will come. And the majority of the soul charts that you guys can ask questions, it comes with a reading. I guess 99% of the questions is why I am here? What is my vision? How it can be of service? And I don't know if you have, I do have Luna here. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I asked that question when I woke up many times and I was clueless. When I ended high school, I didn't know what I was going to be at university. I like many things. When I was a child, little, I remember that people asked me, Gretel, what do you want to be as, <laughs> as adult? What are you going to be when you grow up? And I always used to say, I'm going to be an artist, right? But at some point in my life, I didn't know why I was here. I don't know if you guys know, but I had depression. Many star seats or spiritual people go through certain um, mental imbalances like bipolar disorder or depression or too sensitive or some have a degree of autism or dyslexia i do have dyslexia or or something because we are special and your specialty it means that you remember that you have experiences of your consciousness in other planes in other dimensions that not necessarily match with the experience here and that can be appear as a distortion because someone is autistic or dyslexic like me it doesn't mean i'm wrong it just means the world doesn't understand me right that's what i think or are unique with depression i would like to do tomorrow i will talk about how i was able to go through because i had severe depression and thank God that I was able to transform it into where I am becoming through encoded frequency. But why I am here and why are you here and how we can be of service. I read sometimes things on social media and I think that's a little bit of uh, misperception about how it is to be of service. Not only the persons who does readings or Reiki or channel are at service, we're all at service. You're at service if you're a police, if you work in a hospital, if you're a doctor, if you're a mom and you don't work, you are at service too. You're at service if you have to take care of other brother because maybe you don't have mom and dad anymore, or maybe because you are a teacher, or maybe because, I don't know, you volunteer in your community to do something. We all could be at service, and there are many ways to do it, be at service, but this is something that I wanted to clarify from my own perspective. I was talking to my son, and my son, I picked up him from school, and he was very emotional, impacted, because one of his friends says he wanted to suicide, and he didn't know how to handle that, right? So I listened to him, and then... Normally, I don't tell my kids what to do, but this is something that may have happened to you or maybe you have thought about it that you don't know what to do, right? In those moments, we all could be at service. It doesn't mean, matter if I'm a Christian person, if I don't believe in God, if I'm a starseed, or if I am a Reiki practitioner. 
we all could help someone at certain moment in your life. And this is being at service. It's not defined because you talk to bacterians or because you are a channeler or because you have so many likes in your social media. It's defined for the capacity to hold the space for someone that's in need of someone but it doesn't come from trying to fix because it's inconvenient to you, right? You are not at service because you want to fix others because it's like, oh, I hate that are pedophiles. I hate government trying to control me. I can handle people uh, uh, or immigrants or whatever. It's your, uh, your trigger, right? So when I want to be at service, come because I can handle that. That isn't an organic spirituality. And I know this is the opportunity for all of us. You can create your TikTok, your YouTube, and you can speak your voice in Facebook, in whatever platform you want to, and talk about what you feel you should do. Not only spirituality, about makeup, about technology, about everything you wanted. That's the spotlight. And that's a precious gift we all have. But... With our words, we can throw knives or we can inspire something. Maybe someone that's not a spiritual, but is a comedian and made me laugh. And that, it was healing for me. Then that was his service. Does that make sense? Things at the spiritual level are not that fixated. But don't, don't force that service because it's inconvenient. I want, I have heard this so many times in the sessions. My husband doesn't want to wake up, right? And we cannot handle this because I, and this toxicity and blah, 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 blah. But that comes from, that's inconvenient for me because I do my work and he doesn't do his work and does, oh, but our relationship has a type of work where we would put something into it. And if my husband, it's not a way, because I was there in that example before, and I wake up, I cannot rectify that by putting myself outside of the problem, like, he's not doing his work, and I cannot do his. I need to be part of the problem, and from the problem, see what I can do if it's in my control. Or maybe I should just to walk away and look for a partner that matches my values and goals. Whether I choose to do, it will be fine, but choose because you feel like doing. Choose because it feels good for you. And that is the mission that you will have. The mission that you will have will be aligned with things that you are good at it. Maybe you are good to be a controller. <laughs> And that's perfect to be a leader or to work in military. And we all appreciate that we have militaries. Of course, I don't like war. I hate it. But I appreciate that the part of the government have police department and militaries that may not be in the highest and best, but they do their best to rest their lives so we are all safe, right? I do appreciate the persons that works in the streets, the ones that have electricity and all that stuff. So there are many ways to be at service, but my service, I cannot be doing readings and coachings and speaking about this if I'm not coherent with my kids and my partner and my mom and my family and myself. So you are your first mission. This is what I think. And this is something that it's my goal, regardless of whatever, encoded frequency can disappear if it doesn't match that I'm living it, that I'm practicing it. So practice. If you ask a person that have had a Reiki attunement, if are you doing Reiki every day to yourself? 95% will say no. Then <laughs> how is it that you're gonna master yourself? We have to make that discipline to be in the light into whatever technique some people say, I cannot meditate at all. My mind is so busy. That's fine. Maybe you can do yoga. Maybe you can do tai chi. Maybe you can read. Maybe you can candle gaze. Maybe you can, whatever works out for you, gardening. 
whatever it's the thing that lifts you up, that doesn't blow out your candle, that's your technique. And, and whatever doors are open, this is the doors that you should be working on. Imagine if the whole persons in the world, the millions and millions of people choose to do tarot readings, then who would cure them? <laughs> who would be in the restaurants, right? So we'll have different, different assignments to do. Some people said, why aren't we all at workers since they don't and living on together? Because we have done before and they didn't work. That was Atlantis and that was Moria. <laughs> and now it was decided we will all be spread. So every continent and every country and every city will have at least one that could inspire others to make a change because we are all a Christ. We are all Buddha, we are all Krishna or whatever God names has for you. But we have to leave that practice. I know it's easy to say, I am the light. <laughs> but and sometimes things happen, we're humans out of the blue and you will feel pulled out of your center in seconds. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay to go through, get upset, frustrated, sad, anxious, or anything. But then do your thing. If your no meditation aligns you, then give me five minutes and then we discuss about this. Let me just get myself straight and then we can continue. Be in charge of yourself, your work. You are your own manager. Look for something to learn. There is a lot of free material online that you can create your own discipline, but then you need to have that practice, whatever that it is, make it easy. I began connecting with higher self because I was saying every day in the morning and at the afternoon, I was saying, higher self, you are in charge, <laughs> right? It was, that was my mantra. And, and then I was said, Help me to be a clear channel for your condition and movement for your social consciousness, you're in charge. And then whenever I feel like I was losing my steps, I was saying, ah, oh, you're in charge. I don't know the solution. I don't know how to do this. It's okay. We're humans, but we're all in this together. In this according stage that we are, guys, it's not about me shining through. It's not about you or you or you. It's about all of us together. But for that, we have to put ourselves First, strong in your light, in your peace, into whatever is your magic. And then when you have enough in your cup, it's full and overflow from whatever overflow you give to everyone else, but you cannot give what you don't have, right? And sometimes it's annoying when someone, it's not, good that someone comes and said, I told you, if you had followed my advice, you wouldn't be there. I told you so. That doesn't help either <laughs> because you put more mod into whatever that person is. Sometimes not doing anything, just being next to the person and saying, hey, if you need anything, let me know. I'm here for you. And this is what I told my son to do. I said, hey, look, it's a very delicate situation when someone says, I want to kill myself. You have to be very careful about what you said. He needs professional support, but I don't think there's anything you could do because you're both teenagers. Just said, hey, if you need to talk to someone, if you need help or anything, I'm here. But the person, that's the second thing about healing and being at service. You cannot, be not, you cannot be at service if the person wasn't one the help. I don't know if your country has that, but in my city, Mormons will knock your door every Saturday, 8 or 9 I am Read the Bible, ma'am. <laughs> And if you're sleeping in some it's Saturday and you want to sleep late and someone knocks your door to force you to read the Bible and you're not into that, you'll say like, like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to, right? 
I'm, I don't feel guided to that. So it feels uncomfortable because I'm not into the type of religion. And it feels forced on me. Yes. So sometimes spiritual people are going to be seen by non-spiritual people like you want to force me to sage my house, you want to force me to meditate, you want to force me to do affirmations, like blah, 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 when I don't want to do my work. Some people don't want to because they're not there yet. And that's fine. We have our own time in. So just to conclude, you want to be at service? Begin by asking yourself how I can be at service for myself. How, what I can do so I feel easy and breezy, <laughs> like the, the code of Babylon every day or the majority of the time. What do I need to do? In what area of my life I'm lacking to give what I deserve, what I need, what I want that will make me shine like a star? And second, what I can do for the ones that are next to me to make their life better, right? That's easy and that won't allow any extra from whatever I already do. And that could be smile to people, say, hey, good morning or something, right? And therefore, could I do something else for my community? Maybe I could do that if I drive like a decent person, <laughs> if I throw my garbage, if there's a long line and there's an old person and I can give like, do you want to go first, right? Being kind, having courtesy, that's enough to be of service for your community. Paying your taxes, being a decent citizen. And then if you can do extra, like donating, being volunteer, that's great. But at the level of what overflow from what you already have, your fullness, and when someone is in that part, people will come to ask you and say, hey, you have changed a lot. What are you doing? I meditated. Oh, can I meditate too, right? And when someone asks you like that, then that person is open for you to preach <laughs> your spiritual thing, right? Hey, yeah, I started seated, blah, 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 and then said your whole thing. But if someone is not ready, then respect their boundary before being ready, whether that is your husband, your family, your kids, your friends, or whatever. Force is not the way of the light. The only difference between witchcraft, that it's black, uh, black magic or white magic, it's in black magic, you don't ask for consent. You would do whatever you want to energetically without respecting the boundaries of someone else's. It's all about respect. My respect begins when your respect ends and likewise, right? So take whatever that serves you guys because being a light worker is in fashion. I know now everyone wants to be a spiritual coach, but... From my perspective, do it from your heart. It's okay. We don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect. There is a lot of things that I don't know. My English is not even perfect. It doesn't matter, but do your best, and then you will be guided into which area you could do. Our community needs help in general. Of course, a lot. Every country needs that. And then try to see in which way you could assist your community. And sometimes making donations, being a nice citizen, that's enough. <sighs> Binera, thank you, Nora. Thank you for being here, Gabriel. Appreciate it. Tomorrow I'm going to be live in YouTube at the same time, 11 PST. Let me see if I have some questions. I feel aligned with service, my podcast, any guidance for me as I continue on my own path. Yes. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition and adapt. I'm hearing adapt, Benita, for you. Adaptation into what comes. Let me go, Gabriel. 
I have a soul connection for a child or something else. <sighs> you do have that soul connection. For some reason, it feels that is a healing process you are going through and it appears as if it's not manifested but energetically you have it. I'm going to do a little bit of life language and that will assist you if you want to. Nor a unification breaks all worlds. Exactly. It's not easy to see what make us similar to the person that you disagree with, especially if that person hurts you or has a different values and morals than you. But at some point we're all one with spirit. And who am I to judge, right? It's every time I judge, I'm judging myself too, because we all mirror each other. And Susan, good day. Thank you. Thank you from the heart, Janet. I would love to receive a message. Thank you. Let me see. I see you're working with your balance in your yin and yang. I saw the yin yang symbol and I saw both of them seeking balance and seeking a new integration, a new level of integration. I hope that helps. Laura, hope you're doing amazing. Marika, thank you so much for being here. And thank you. I think we can do, we can do our transmission Whatever you are going through in 10 minutes, we're going to channel whatever you need that will assist you. And Atlantis are going to come. So I guess it's going to be related to emotions. Yes. But you, everyone can set its own uh, transmission. Give me a second and <sighs> drinking so much water. <sighs> ginger tea, it's so good. One of my favorites. Actually blended ginger fresh and add it into my water and even though that it's kind of spicy i love it <laughs> I, i'm crazy i guess let's begin i will bring the atlanteans right away go with your flow allow it and if you can place your hands up in whatever position that feels good for you okay Welcome. We are the Atlantean Collective. We are honored and here through a message that will come through the language of the light. Love the letters Akita T Va Sitira Kavati Rasura Kavati A T Ish Ni Af. I would love I am Ariana. I am the channelers the Plantian version that came through today and it was a surprise for her that I look like white short red hair red hair, blue eyes. And as I come to you, I do have a silver gown that sparkle. The way that we used to dress ourselves was exotic, was extravagant, 
and was exaggerated. Our clothing will have metals encoded within, will have certain devices that would amplify our own connection, crystals encoded with jewelry and accessories that will mark in our own tribe the category of our own spiritual advance, vtas te kore te isa koka teri iso kori itiri ishna. In my own tribe, we were called as the golden ones because our skin tone was white with a golden glow. Into our own tribe and time. I would like to invite you to visualize in your mind into the image that comes from what you think Atlantis will look like to you. And as you do, project the image of your soul walking next to you, me and a committee of Atlantean healers. And we are heading into the ocean via the Asikora, Te Ediasa, Te Tori Ari Oshniava, Si Ishna. Allow that every sound separate into their own mind and only choose the ones that you stream from within. You are being assisted and from within stream the sounds of the ocean stream the sounds of the sound of the air imagine the sun flares all around your skin and as you do Welcome yourself and enter the ocean. Let water to be placed at the level of your torso. Dolphins will come and swirl all around you from the left to the right from the right to the left and create the sensation of the relaxation as the water flows around you. Now, place your attention and become the flow that is being emanated from your core, passed through your aura, and unified with the gateway initiated by the dolphins. And create the sensation as if you flow from the left to the right, from the right to the left. Ki a te ara o soro te eva te esse ti ni esh na. Breathe light in 
and as you breathe out, flow. As you breathe in, imagine the most beautiful color blue. And as you breathe out, become that flow. Allow yourself to be clean and clean and relax and relax. And with the next inhale, you will begin to recharge and receive and receive and receive. And you can receive what you need, not more, not less. What comes to complement the perfect harmony for every chakra, every meridian, your body of light, the flow, and expand. And you breathe and tune into the relaxation using your senses. Imagine how it will feel like to be in the water swirling around you. Feeling relaxed by the sounds of the ocean, the sounds of the dolphins, flying birds singing on your behalf, the motion of the light through the sun, creating clothes that are poured in and flow through you and all around Kietaro Soro Tariafa Ti Ish Kiva. And now we're going to count from five to one. And you'll become part of the ocean itself. Inhale at five. Exhale and connect. Inhale at four. Transform and exhale. Inhale at three, exhale and transcend. Inhale at two, exhale and unify. Inhale at one, exhale and become the ocean. Tiava asatya oroki ite va kiti eshka. And just for a few seconds, Ground that sensation. What will feel like to have the calm of the ocean? To be around the dolphins, the whales, the animals. To go deep or flow through the surface and be touched by the sun and the sky. To be so magnificent that life comes from you and without you, nothing cannot exist because the ocean is in the air. Through earth and in every living being in the planet. And have the sensation of being part with every living being through the liquid, through the flow, flowing through the trees and the clouds, in the animals and the crystals, in the human heart 
Vati as kore eti ava asiri eshka. And through that sensation, integrate the wholeness, the harmony, the connection, the oneness, the expansion. And as you breathe in, come back to your body and four. Integrate in three. Unified completely in your time and space in two. And in one, ground where you are. Placing your awareness in your center. Your stability provided by your, your bones, your body. The space that supports you, ti ara o fosseti iri eshka. And as you breathe in and out, decree I'm connected, I'm grounded. I'm all that I am, and I am complete. It is done, it is done, it is done. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go because I have a session. For the ones that would like to join me, these light language training level one and two, you guys can go ahead and learn more about it in quarterfrequency.com first month. They do have 40% discount with the code Higher Self Help 1 or Higher Self Help 2 or anything. Uh, ask me through the page. Have a beautiful rest of your day and see you guys tomorrow live in YouTube at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Have a great day.